the demonstrators arrived in their thousands for what they called the mother of all protests. They called for new elections and the release of opposition politicians. The opposition blames President Nicolás Maduro and his predecessor, the late Hugo Chávez, for the country's serious economic crisis. Many Venezuelans say the country is on the verge of collapse. I think we'll reach victory with this protest. This is the second independence of Venezuela. This is the day we have been waiting for, longing for. The confrontation quickly triggered conflict with security forces. In Caracas, police fired tear gas and rubber bullets at demonstrators who were attempted to converge on the office of the state ombudsman. And the violence wasn't restricted to the capital. This was the scene in San Cristobal, in the west of the country, where protesters also clashed with riot police. But the president remained defiant. Speaking at a rally of his supporters, he accused the opposition of plotting a coup and the protesters of attacking the police and looting shops. We have captured more than 30 hooded people, violent terrorists. We have caught more than 30 today, fully identified. Venezuela, an oil-rich country, seems to be locked in a political stalemate while its economy collapses and violence flares up again. <laughs>